Hello everyone, it's me, little old me. So I have a small haul that I got from Amazon and I wanted to show everyone a couple little things I bought. I bought this brush off of Amazon and it does not have the name on it, but I'm telling you, this is quite an amazing brush for the price. I am just blown away. I am not a nail tech and I have no training in using acrylics. Just how I taught myself. I've done my own nail, my own acrylic nails. Um, sometimes I use dual forms because um, it makes it easier for me to sculpt my nails. I mean, I'll put a form on let me grab one right here and I'll use a dual form and I'll put my I'll put a, um, a tip on of some kind and I put my acrylic in there and um, then uh, I just add it on like that and yes you'll have some that'll run over yes you'll have to file and trim you know and so, um, then you give it so many seconds. Give it a few minutes to dry. Once it is attached, just leave it there. Go on with your next nail. And sometimes they'll just fall off by themselves. And, and then you'll just, you know, squeeze them like you would if, if they were, you were using gel. That's how I do my acrylic nails. So I get a better, um, a application around the cuticles and I'm not worrying so much about getting it all over my skin but anyway on to something new and this is what I like to use me a secret so that's I mean it's it's affordable and you know it's just I think it's good I mean for me I'm, I'm a home user and just um you know, I mean, it's the one of the most affordable ones. I mean, I won't say some of the other. Just whatever you can afford, just go for it. Make sure you get the monomer to match your acrylic. Because sometimes it really screws things up. So, anyway. Now, let me get back to this. So, first thing I bought was a monocle. Um... Stamper because my other stamper uh, I really hadn't used it and it got kind of gummy. I don't, I mean, uh, it was like I could touch my finger to it and it would just pull out like string out like a uh, cheese would. Let's move these over here. Uh, so we'll start with this and then we'll move on to these. Um, this is a, I believe they call it a monocle. Ooh. A mon oh. <laughs> a monocle. There. And I'm sure all of you know how to clean them once you stamped with them is get one of these little um, sticky rollers. And that's how you clean your don't don't use any kind of acetone or anything like that because I I'm not sure, but you would probably destroy the, the jelly thing. Okay. So let me put that in my little drawer so I will know where it is. Throw the box away. Now, I have not opened these. So, these are the same as this one. Same brand. Oh. Oh. Boy. Ooh, that is sticky. Okay, ooh, I got a pink one. I saw the pink and I was like, I gotta have a pink one. I just got to. Oh, this is a size 10, just like this. And, and I'm telling you, this one doesn't have the name on it. But this one does. Hmm. Hmm. 
So it is, I hope you can see the name of it, B-O-A-N, Bone, 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 <laughs> however you pronounce it. I'm terrible at that. Uh, I was never good in school with pronunciations. Okay. But don't you just love it? And it's got the little pink crystals. I can hear them shaking in there. But I'm telling you, for a $10 acrylic brush, wow. I mean, I, I will not encourage anyone to buy it. Oh, no. I'm not going to put them back in those. I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, you know, I guess I could leave my stuff out. Lay it down here. And let's open the next one. Oh, oops. <laughs> I tore it. Okay. Okay, this one is a size 10. So this one should be the size 8. Because I wanted both of them in pink, but they were out of the size 8. And as you see, I have tiny little nails. So I'm going to take my nail polish and stuff off and do a little bit of backfill here after a while. I may do a tad video on that. Not sure. But yeah, this is a size 8. Isn't that? Yeah, see. I have such tiny nails. Oh, oh and this one's got the name on it too. Let's see. B-O-A-N. And I'm telling you, I, I think the large, <coughs> excuse me, this size 8 was eight, eight ninety nine, and the 10s are nine ninety nine. So, say $9 and $10. But the higher up you, I mean, the, the larger the brush is, the higher up it goes, of course. But it is on Amazon. How I found it is, I saw someone do a video on the Koopa, and I was like, I wonder if Amazon sells the Koopa. They do. It's like $17 on, uh, you know, for the size 8. A size 8 is $17 in the Koopa brand. These look identical in the color, the shape, the crystals, everything, except for the name. So, um, so I, I bought this one and I have, I tried, I used dirty monomer. I tried every which way in the world to mess this thing up. And I'm telling you, yeah. And these are a little bit smaller. Huh, that's weird. I wonder why. Gosh, I hope it's the same brand. I'm pretty sure it was. But this one doesn't have the name on it. Uh-oh. You know what? I never even looked at that. <clears throat> Unless this is an older, older ones and these are their newer ones. Why would they make them so short? That one's shorter than the pink one. Yeah, I've got them down to the... Look how much longer. Well, people, I hope if you look and you see one that does not have the A name on it, then that's the one. But I, I'm pretty sure that was the one. Oh, yes, I went back. That's true. I did go back on my Amazon and I looked it up just to make sure that I was getting the exact same one. So, I know this is the same one. Hmm. Okay. One day, I will have to do a uh, little trial with these to make sure if they work just as good as that one. So, um, yep. There's my tiny little haul. And uh, I'm going to have to go back on Amazon. I mean, I, I wanted to make sure that I got the right one. Hmm. Oh, well, I'm going to get off here. I'm going to take my nail polish off, um, and I'm not going to film that because that's just, you know, 
no you seven so i will talk to you all again on another video bye mm. sorry folks trying to